Morning everybody, it's Scarlet Pete with Self Sufficiency. We've just filtered the milk that's come in from the cow and the calf's had over half of it today but we've got a lot in the fridge. Let me show you what we're up to today. So there we have today's half amount and here we have last night's. Now this has been chilled and we're going to skim the cream off and make dream topping. It's a lovely vanilla, sugar powdered, lovely cream. And then afterwards in the next video I'm going to show you how I make cheddar cheese. So stay with me. First of all, to skim the cream we need something to put it in and we need a soup ladle. I suppose before I do the cream I should explain to you, you can see how the cream goes yellowy and wrinkly on top. So the cream floats to the top overnight, whereas this fresh milk looks a different colour and it's all mixed together there. Let's see if I can do this one handed for you. So first of all I'm going to take the um, soup ladle and carefully skim across and you see first of all there we go we get the cream with the skin on top that's the really thickest cream Isn't that lovely so we'll carry on doing that till we get the top off at this point we've taken a good deal of cream off and now you'll start to see the difference between the cream and the milk. You see the line that's formed behind, the slightly greener, that is the milk without the cream. So we're just going along and creaming, taking the top off the cream, skimming it. So there's our cream, that's a good pint in a bit. And there's our milk that's left and you can see now, you can see the swirls of cream on top. There's some cream and then there's some of the milk underneath. So I'm going to leave it at that. Just mix it in. And that's ready to make cheese with later. But what we're going to do is dream, dream a topping copycat. Here we have last night's cream chilled. It's been out a little bit now just to get up to room temperature slightly. What we're going to do is put it in the food blender. And we're going to blend that now so that will uh, become higher in there when it's thicker. As I always say, please excuse the state of my nails. I scrub them but they're stained from work in the garden. So it's there now. It should get to about that height when it's thick and creamy before it splits. We don't want it to split. We're just going to whiz it up till it gets thick and really yummy. There we are, that's nice and thick. Now I can tell that got thick without taking the lid off because the motor slows down as it thickens up. And now all we do is add some powdered sugar that I made earlier in the blender and some um, vanilla. And here's my powdered sugar. As I say, that just went in the blender earlier and whizzed it up and we've got some beautiful powdered sugar. You might have to stir it a couple of times to make sure it all mixes to be blended. And this is my vanilla powder. I'd normally make a vanilla extract, which I will show you in a new video because I'm going to make some shortly, but I've run out of it and I've run out of vodka to put in it. I've got to distill some vodka too. That's another video yet again. You see, you can be self-sufficient. You can make anything you want to. Sugar goes in. A bit of vanilla goes in. I'm going to stir it by hand because this is right at the splitting stage to make the cream into butter and I don't want it to split. So I'm just going to stir that in. So there we have it. A beautiful, delicious dream topping, nice and thick and creamy, which is just begging to be served on some homemade pancakes, served with a homemade yogurt drink, home churned butter from home milled cow and homemade cherry picked jam. Well, home picked cherries made into homemade jam. You get the gist of it. Lashings of butter, a dollop of jam, another dollop of cream, and I'm in heaven. Thanks so much for watching. I'm off to make you another video now on cheese making. Thanks so much again. Like, share, and subscribe, and go on, be a devil and comment. I'd love to know you're there. Bye bye.